<laughs> yeah, really. Right. Yeah, like, anyway. So one of the things we talked about on the call, which I didn't record, was how long it took from, like, when we sat down. Yeah. People are going to believe this, by the way. I know. That's the hard, and that's why I'm trying to do these videos, because yeah, I sit down with people for a full day, usually. Yeah. And nine times out of ten. Or it was, what, five hours in our first yeah, four, session? Four or five hours. It was, I remember I was exhausted. I'll be honest, like, it was very tired. Yeah, but in a good way. It's like the kind of thing when you work out yeah. and you feel like you're tired as opposed we, to you sleep. We did a lot of stuff. We did a lot of stuff. <laughs> and you know, you, like you mentioned, because of because I'm so incredibly visual, it was very easy for me to clear those pictures up. Right. You know, like I was blasting through stuff <laughs> like, what's next? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, literally, that day, um, a lot of stuff was gone. Right. And when I mean gone, now this is the part, look, believe it or not believe it, I really don't care. I know I'm a much happier person because of working with Mark. Um, it was gone. A lot of those issues were, were like they had never existed to the point that um, I shared with people that I work with you, you know, like in our networking stuff. Right. And I mentioned to some people how being on the phone was an issue for me. Right. Like a serious issue, like heart palpitations, cold right. sweats. Hand sweating. Can't breathe. Right. You know, like you're in high school. For me, it goes back to high up. school and you want to call the girl for a date at the Jackson Brown song I heard on the way over here. Is that Jackson Brown? I've never song? heard that one. I, it's great about anyway. She's got to be somebody's baby because she's so fine. So nobody asked her out. Right. You don't think she's with somebody, okay. but she doesn't get any dates because they'll. Oh, okay. I love that song. Anyway, so that would be in high school where you're just terrified. Ter I mean, terrified. Okay, I'll give you. I'll share this story with you. I met my wife at St. John's University, and I wanted to tell her how I felt um, for a while, but I didn't, obviously. And then one day, we just, it was philosophy that brought us together. Right. In the class, I had bought her a book for Christmas, and it was in my school bag, you know, my little leather bag. Right, right. And I didn't know how to give it to her, because you can't just give someone, I knew her, she knew me, but it wasn't like we were friends or we chatted up right. each other up. So how do you present, hey Mark, I have a gift for you, but right. it would have been too weird, but I had carried that book in my bag from uh, November all the way to March, because it was in March. So we ended up passing each other. We ended up having a conversation. She was going to take the class that I had the book for. That was the book I was wow. going to give her. It was negative, she left philosophy. She was a philosophy minor mm -hmm. with a pharmacy degree, which is unique. Mm -hmm. We ended up exchanging phone numbers. Okay? See where I'm going right, with this? Right. Uh -oh. So I remember reading boom, somewhere. Boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. Well, here's the thing. Boom, now boom. you're on the clock. <laughs> because I read somewhere or heard somewhere that when a woman gives you her phone number, she right. expects you to call within a week. Now, it could be a myth. It could, I don't know if it was in, I don't know what the hell It I doesn't matter, but that's what you thought. I the, thought, so you literally, had a week. being very literal, I think, we, <laughs> I, I, I think literally, we spoke on, it was, a, it was March 25th, but I think it was a Monday. And literally, I was like, I'm on the clock. I've got five days to call. And then you waited for the last possible Damn yeah, right I did. Yeah, that's right. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> to pick up the phone and call her. Now people, you have to understand, I'm not making this, this is reality. It took me three hours. Oh my God. Three hours of mental preparation, of pacing. Oh, oh my. Listen, listen. Okay, people don't understand this. Pacing, pick up the phone, dial the number halfway, put the phone down and walk away because the, the anxiety, the, I mean, my heart was pounding. I was shaking. My hands were shaking. Wow. The only reason, you love this, right? Can you tell a mental picture? Yeah. The only way I was able to pick up the, the phone was I had figured that she'd probably be at work. Okay. And I would leave her alone. I said, 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 I I said, I so I'm changing the picture, and okay. I didn't—I didn't know, of course. I was doing it. Right. I changed the picture. Now check this out. So you, you popped in the picture that she's not even there. She's okay, then I can I'll call. I'll leave a message. <laughs> and guess what happened? She was there. She answered the phone. Oh, and I, I nearly shit. <laughs> 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 uh, and I literally said, "Check this out." I literally said, <laughs> "I literally told my wife." Oh my okay, I told her. I said, "Not hi. How are you?" My first words on the phone were, oh, I thought you'd be at work. This is what I called you. I was like, oh, my God. I'm calling because oh I was hoping you're not there. Right. And then you could call me back, and then I could call you back. 
and then it's less Friday. Three hours. It took me three, three we don't understand, three hours. So now, no, I'm not happily married. I mean, you've seen the photos of my wife, but when you said Okay, so that's, so now take that instance and you have to make a sales call. So I used to say to people, here's a catch point too. You want the easiest way to get business is by just call people and call them. No, no, we're we're pros. It's like the easiest, you know, we're pros. But that's the the double-edged sword of a referral for me was, so Mark, you you refer someone to me. Oh, by the way, thanks for all that. I sent an email. I spoke to her on an email. Um, By referral. So people would refer someone to me. Now I'm on the clock. Because if I don't call, if I don't call, then the person referring me, let's use you as an example. So you refer to Paulette, I call, we spoke, okay? Let's say I don't. And Paulette says, gee, uh, you know, your buddy Mike never called me. Number one, you look bad. You, I, look, I bad. look bad. You look bad. You make me look bad. You feel bad for making me look bad, and I feel bad that you made me look bad. And are you going to refer me more business? No. Nope. No. So, <laughs> it, you know, people would help me by giving me a referral, and it would take me, every referral, it would take me literally two hours. Talk about like putting wow. things off in sales. You know, in sales, you talk about the busy work? Let me clean my desk. I'll clean my, let me rearrange my software before yeah. I make this phone call. I have to have a clean color. Well, you know, I have a Dunkin' Donuts in my office. Uh-huh. I would go to Dunkin' Donuts. I don't care if I had eight cups. Oh my God. I have to go to Dunkin' Donuts and get a coffee before I call. Right. Now I have to rearrange my software. I've got to change the papers. Right. I have to buy another technique that's going to do the marketing right. trick, yeah. right? Because that yeah, makes me feel part. like I'm doing yeah. something for my business but just make the damn call. Right. And two hours, right. one call. Right. So in a, let's say you're going to work a 10-hour day, five calls. And see, after making the call, I was so wiped out right. that like my buddy would right. say, right. dude, when you're in the zone, and he's like a cold caller, right. he should give a clinic. He's, he's gifted. Right. Like, he loves to make, he's a B2B guy. Okay. He's a B2B guy, folks, that he's business to business. Yeah. Okay. He's like, when you're in the zone, Mike, you have a good call. You should feel pumped yeah. up. Make, but like, he never got in the zone. Zone. What zone? What zone? What zone? Terror zone. The terror zone. It's like the demilitarized it, zone well, of all the barbed wire. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was so relieved but exhausted after right. making the call that I would, I would have to reward myself for making the call. Right. And rewarding myself was not making another damn phone call. Right. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> One call a day. One call two calls a day. Man. Email. Thank God for email. I got so much business done by email because that's less threatening. That's, just, right. that's writing. Right. That's easy.